Hi, I'm Dala, and today I'm gonna show you how to retrofit Chademo to a leaf that doesn't have it. Let's go. So if your uh, leaf is looking like this, uh, then this is the video for you. Uh, this vehicle was previously upgraded uh, to a 40 kilowatt hour pack. Uh, we did this one a few months ago. And uh, the customer now wants Chademo. Uh, understandable, because this vehicle now has a big battery and should be able to road trip quite well. Uh, so yeah, uh, I'll go through the process of, of uh, how to add Chademo now. So, um, if we just look at the components, I have this uh, new uh, onboard charger slash power distribution module here. And uh, if you look at the code here, you can see uh, the specs of this one. Uh, this one is a normal 3.6 kilowatt charger. So not the super fast uh, 6.6 .6 kilowatt one. But this one came with Chademo. Uh, because it had the Chademo cables here and um, the Chademo cable uh, looks something like this so in all, one end it has the port and on the other one the high voltage line but it's not as simple as just adding these two components so before I go swapping the parts let me show you the real problem right here so Nissan in their infinite wisdom uh, decided that the wiring loom should also differ between these two. So uh, this wiring loom right here is the one that uh, goes between the power distribution module and it then loops around and connects to various sensors and then it comes back and it joins this uh, bigger wiring loom here. But if I zoom in on this uh, you can see that the top row here is not populated and um, that is an issue so if we instead look at the new wiring harness uh, there are nine more cables in here compared than the old one <clears throat> so um, uh, yeah it's not as simple to just throw in the, the correct harness because this next harness will also differ but uh, today I'm going for a quick and dirty retrofit. So we will be using uh, this harness, but I will uh, take out these nine pins and we will connect them uh, directly to this charge port. Uh, the charge port has this uh, uh, tiny connector on it and uh, this one also has uh, nine pins. So. Those nine pins does some yeah, wandering around here in this main harness and then eventually ends up here in the charge location. But uh, now I need to go and look at some wiring schematics because I haven't really looked at any wiring uh, diagrams yet. So I will go ahead and do that or maybe just cross reference it from my own leaf that has Chademo. And uh, uh, then I can get started on the actual yeah, mechanical upgrade. Let's see how easy it is. Okay, so I went back to the drawing board quite literally. I found an excellent forum post by Narcea back from 2018, I think. Uh, that was the only user on the Mine and Leaf forum that successfully documented this uh, Chademo retrofit. But uh, basically the post said that uh, <laughs> you need the wiring diagrams. So I printed these out and um, there is one pin, uh, pin number uh, 8, that is missing from the VCM uh, that you have to add. So you have to uh, open up the VCM and solder a wire directly to it. And that wire then goes to a relay. And this relay is also missing from the vehicle. This is the charge relay that is used for quick charging. And <laughs> there's also a fuse that's supposed to feed this relay. And that one is also missing. 
And yeah, all, all the wires associated with this. But basically this, uh, this relay will uh, feed power uh, to the power distribution module uh, via the quick charge relay pin. And uh, yeah, that's only getting power to the power distribution module from the VCM. Uh, the next issue then is to uh, actually hook up the quick charge port and uh, I have edited this uh, picture a bit because the original one didn't include uh, the names for the signals uh, for some reason. But I, I reverse engineered those by uh, looking at uh, how the quick charge port connects to the PDM. So yeah, I will <laughs> of course leave a link in the description to all of these uh, schematics if you need them but yeah this is very fun so now I think I know everything that needs to be done in order to do this so it's just yeah start splicing in wires okay so I quickly realized that uh, the fuse is m that is missing should be here and uh, the relay that is missing should be down there and how did I figure this out so quickly? Well, I cheated, of course. Here is a leaf that is equipped with Chademo. So, yeah, <laughs> work smart, not harder. But before we add the fuse and the relay, we need to find the VCM. And the VCM sits behind the fuse box, and we're gonna extract that and add the missing wire. So, yeah, this is with the glove box removed, and uh, yeah, this is the VCM. So, now we will be extracting this module. So here's the VCM on the bench and uh, the left hand connector is referred to the black one and this is the brown one. You can see that on the wiring side. But unfortunately the pin we need is missing from the harness so let's open this one up. So this is the VCM freed from its case. Uh, the case is glued shut so I recommend just heating it up and the glue will be easy to pop off. And now we just need to identify pin number 5 and solder a wire to it. So for anyone following along at home, uh, the number 8 wire is the one when you count from this side and you go just 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And that's the pin you want to tap into. So now that I have done that, I will uh, uh, drill a new hole in the VCM to take out this wire and seal it all up again with silicone. Yeah, so let me just do that. Okay, so now the VCM is back in place and we have this new cable coming out of it that we will use to activate the quick charging and yeah, let's continue under the hood. Okay, so with the VCM side taken care of we can now move in under the hood. And uh, I have assumed the service position and for the leaf that means removing the uh, windshield wipers and the cowl that sits under it because that frees up so much room for activities. So now we can lift out the original PDM. And a pro trick here is to uh, drain the coolant uh, at this point. Uh, that helps out a lot so you don't make a mess. And uh, yeah, then there's just a few connections for the battery and yeah, we can lift this cover off. So yeah, let's do that. And with the top cover removed, which is glued in place, uh, the PDM looks something like this. Uh, here on the right hand side, there should be some power electronics for the CHAdeMO, but this PDM is just empty. And uh, did I mention that this is maybe not a do-it-yourself job because, yeah, <laughs> the more I'm, I'm doing this, the more I realize that, yeah, this is quite a tough upgrade. But let's continue. Before I lift this out, I might mention that uh, I haven't shown these tools on the channel, but uh, uh, now when I'm undoing the, the battery incoming and the AC compressor, uh, even with the service disconnect, uh, switch removed. I'm still using um, high voltage like equipment uh, which is quite expensive so I know that some do-it-yourselfers when working on the leaf are skipping on getting the proper like gear but yeah maybe don't do this your life is worth more so yeah I'm using uh, insulated gear up to 1000 volts so yeah 
Volta just mentioned that. Whew. Okay, so with the PDM removed, we now have access to the wiring harness. So it's this black one that I'm now gonna unclip from everywhere so we can put in the replacement one. Fun. Okay, after some struggling, uh, the new wiring loom is in and uh, you can see here that there are now an extra set of wires. So very nice, just took some time. So now it's time to mount the new Chademo cable uh, while the PDM is still off. So I've taken this uh, plastic bit and I have uh, dremeled out uh, <laughs> where the Chademo should come in. And uh, yeah, so now it's time to just mount this cable. So I'll just attach it here on the side of the inverter. I'm just gonna cheat and uh, go and run and look on my personal vehicle what this <laughs> should look like. It's, it's so much easier to do that. Wow, look at that! It looks like a factory install. Very nice. Uh, now it's time to throw the new power distribution module in there. So the new high voltage cable comes up here on the right side and uh, well the communication plug I just uh, stripped some insulation off it because uh, these are the wires that we're gonna be extending over to uh, this side right here later on but uh, for now I think it's uh, okay to just put the power distribution module back in. With the new PDM now in place um, the quick charge connector now can actually connect to something. Uh, inside the old one this uh, like whole section here was like completely missing so yeah this PDM is filled with more electronics nice okay now we can begin with the real fun stuff and that is wiring it all together uh, I think my angle of approach here is going to be to add the relay first so I'm gonna pull through the cable coming from the VCM and we'll put a relay in the stock location, so that's the, this uh, fuse box right here. So, I will start with that. <laughs> okay, so that is one wire completed. This one is the one that the VCM wakes up, uh, the quick charging with. And uh, here on the other side, we have the IPDM module. And uh, there is one pin here that also traces back to the ECU or the VCM. Uh, that is the fast charge signal and it is on uh, this pin. It's this um, uh, light green one. So now I'm gonna splice into this and move that all the way over to here. And at the same time while I'm doing that, I'm going to be pulling power from here. This is where the fuse normally would be. So I will, yeah, take power at the same time while I, I get this wire over to the other side. Fun! So with all the necessary cables in place for the relay, uh, I'm now switching focus to extending the uh, wiring that comes with the Chademo port. And uh, this wire will be made into this wire that I made that will go all the way up to here and we will splice it in here. Okay, it is now one in the morning and I've spent way too much time on this. But uh, yeah, now the wiring, uh, I've cut off all the cables here and just spliced them into this uh, replacement one. And uh, I actually started the vehicle uh, some time ago just to verify that the new PDM was accepted and it was. <laughs> but before that I had some interlock error code so I had to uh, open up the cover again, which I had glued together, so yay, fun. Uh, but now it's all together and uh, I'm going to head to a quick charge station and see if we can charge this vehicle. Okay, so I just pulled up to the charger and um, I gotta say I'm quite nervous. Uh, let's see how this works. Okay, so this is gonna be the first attempt ever. I want to catch it on camera. I got a beep, so at least that's something. Uh, just authenticate with this tag. And let's hit it. 
Wow, and the vehicle is charging. I just stepped inside so I could get better audio. Uh, I am quite relieved that this worked because this was like some massive brain surgery that this vehicle has now had. Uh, like the amount of wires that need to be pulled and soldered and spliced and extended and wiring loom figured out. Yeah, this is not a do-it-yourself job. I mean, if you're thinking about doing this, then maybe consider getting a, a, another car, like trading it in for one that has quick charging already. Because, wow, this is a massive job to get this working. But, uh, yeah, I'm gonna be tidying this up a bit and then handing it over to the customer. So, um, I hope you enjoyed this video. I think this is Europe's first uh, quick charge retrofit. Like I said, there was only one forum post of someone in, in the America that had done this previously. So, yeah, wow, I am so amazed that this works. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, yeah, see you in the next one. Bye.